So here's a Power Watch. Hi, so who are you? Power Watch 2. Uh, I'm Douglas Tam, CTO co founder of Matrix Industries. And here today we're at the uh, uh, CES Unveiled launching our, our second product, uh, which is uh, Power Watch 2. Is this real? I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, energy harvesting. Yeah, of course it's real. I mean, I can show you. With, this is a hat that we've rigged up with our energy harvester, all right? Yeah. I'm going to put it on my head, it's got no batteries. And within a few seconds, it's lighting up. So, uh, are you doing a smartwatch functionality from the heat yes. or what? Yes. So, uh, so, so the features on this uh, are uh, the, the standard activity and sleep tracking, right? Step count, distance, calories. Um, and in addition, we have an onboard GPS as well as a heart rate monitor. So, you can see here that's it's. And that's powered by your buddy? It's powered by your body. Uh, it captures your body heat, and also we have a second uh, in the second generation power watch. We have also a solar cell integrated on the front of the of the watch. Oh, there's a solar solar power panel. Yes, there's a solar panel right around the ring here. Whoa! So, so is this real or is it mock-up? This is a prototype. It has uh, it has all the electrical parts that are going into the real product. Obviously, it has a preliminary uh, software running on there. But as we uh, develop and uh, uh, upgrade the firmware, we're going to get it to production. But you don't do the, the heat from the body, right? We do heat from the body. You yeah. do heat. So what is your system for that? So we actually created our own uh, chip for this. We actually developed our own ASIC for, for uh, tra transforming uh, body heat into electricity. So it's the heat difference between yes, uh, it is uh, difference. what the watch is and your body. What the environment is and your body. And, and that arm. heat difference yes. uh, is able to generate power, as I've shown here with the hat, right? Is this your same technology in there? The same, same technology. Chip here? The same chip is in there. But there's a big sink here, a heat sink, right? right? Sure, yeah. It's just there's for, no heat sink in the watch. The heat sink is all around the watch. There's a heat sink around? Yes. So is that what we see here with the, no, those buttons? No. no. Yeah, some of the patterns, but the, the, the case itself is dissipating the heat. Is this a, a memory so, LCD display? Yes, it is a memory LCD display. But it's a <laughs> color. What's your system? Uh, do you talk about is a microcontroller system in there? Yeah, yeah. there's a ARM Cortex uh, M4. It's an Ambic Apollo 3. It is the lowest power MCU on the market today. Which one? The Ambic Apollo 3. MPEG? Apollo 3. MPEG, which company? A-M-B-I-Q, Ambic. Ambic. Yeah. And, uh, and when you see all this stuff, right, is this? Right now it's powered off because. Yeah. So how long does it does it last? Well, you need to wear it all the time for it to work. Let's see. There's something. Yeah, let me check on. No worries. Does it help if you put it on or? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to put it on. So, uh, is this a different version of it? Yeah, this is the uh, this is the different version. Yeah. This is the uh, PowerWatch X, which is the first generation watch. Is that an e, e ink? This is also a, a memory LCD. Nice. It looks like e-ink. It's so contrasty, right? Yeah. But it's memory LCD. So it's a black and white memory LCD, whereas oh. the other one was a color. That's a Tiger Air Connect. That's pretty uh, sh uh, sharp quality. Too. It's better uh, yeah. than the Pebble, right? This display. It, yeah, it, it is a, a, a couple of generations uh, better? after the uh, after the Pebble. The Pebble so had a similar uh, reflective uh, reflective uh, memory LCD display. So you sold this on the market? Yeah. That's right. And how many people bought this? About 40,000, is that right? I think so. That's pretty good. Yeah. Is it crowdfunding or? Yeah, it was crowdfunded. Like That's Kickstarter? Right. Indiegogo. Indiegogo? Yeah. And, uh, and how about the new one? Is it on It's also Indiegogo. It was launched this morning. So uh, go on powerwatch2.com and you should be able to. How much? Is it it's, on the Indiegogo? Uh, right now, for very limited time only, for uh, what was it? 199. 199. For 199. Only in. Yeah. Backers need to hurry up because we're running out. We only have 30 left. Oh my god, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I want to replace my Swatch. Uh, this is also, uh, this is called, what, you know, with the, right. what do you call it? The kinetic energy. Kinetic, yeah. Yeah, it's, but it's only for the watch dials, right? You're doing uh, the full smart yes. watch. Yes. Which is very special. Is nobody doing this? Yes. Uh, well, the key is to really control power consumption with all the algorithms and the firmware and try to lower it to the point where uh, energy harvesting can actually step yeah. in. So that's really important. Can we see it again? On, on, can we see it working? Yeah. So can you put it on? Or, okay, is uh, that enough power? 
So how, how much um, do you have a some kind I of? I think there's some firmware issue actually. Do you have some kind of super capacitor, or some kind of a thing that stores a, a, just a battery? It's a lipo battery. It's a lipo battery inside. And it will last for how long? When, uh... So you, when you never charge it. You should never charge it. Yes. If you wear it outside, inside, all the time, then you, should, you will never have to charge it. Where are you based? We're in uh, Menlo Park, California. And. Um, uh, what's your background and how many people in the company? Uh, well, my, my background personally, is I'm a chemist engineer by training. Uh, and uh, most of the company is mostly engineers with about 15 people. 15? Yes. So how do you make sure you don't do like Pebble? Because Pebble was amazing. It was became a huge company. Right. And now, I don't know, it's nothing. Uh, we, how is it possible? They were the most successful smartwatch company we out tried, of the Silicon Valley. Yeah, yeah. I think th that's very interesting, right? Uh, I, I think it's a very long discussion, but uh, we, we try to learn from, from them, and uh, in fact, uh, they are really part of our, our inspiration as well. Any, any ex-Pebble yes. employees in your company? On it. Maybe you don't want to say, okay. <laughs> Maybe, okay. Cool, all right, thanks so all right, much. Thank you, thanks thank so you, Nicholas. Thanks, uh, Sorry about yeah, that. No so this is part of okay. one, as you can see it looks a lot different, it has a black 